GCSE Maths Solving Equations in Under 5 Minutes by Jeevan Singh Always think terms. Why? Because equations are simply made up of terms. So if you understand terms, it makes the concept much easier. The definition of a term. A number or letter or a combination of both with a positive or negative sign in front of it. If there is no sign, you assume it's positive. Here are some examples. So we have a 3x, a number, a letter, and there's no sign in front of it, so it's positive. Minus 4t, a number, a letter, and a negative sign in front of it. 5uv is obviously a group of number, numbers, and letters. And there's no sign in front of it, so again, it's positive. Minus a squared. A squared is, in fact, a group of letters because a squared is a times a or a a. And it has a negative sign in front of it. And lastly, we have a y cubed, which is, again, a group of y terms, y letters, and a positive sign in front of it. Okay, so the aim of solving an equation is to get letters onto one side of the equals and numbers onto the other. But how do we do this? The key rule. Whatever you have on one side of the equals, you do the inverse operation or the opposite on the other. So what do I mean by inverse operation or opposites? Well, if you have a look at the three at the bottom, subtraction is actually the inverse of addition and vice versa. Division is the opposite of multiplication and vice versa. And square root is also the inverse operation of square or squaring. Let's have a look at an example. We have 3x plus 2 in brackets is equal to 2 minus x. So that, th that bracket's there. What that means is we're doing 3 times this whole bracket. So the first thing to do is to expand this bracket out because what we'll, what we'll get then is we'll just get a string of terms. So multiplying that bracket out, we get 3 times x, which is 3x plus 3 times 2, which is 6. And that gives us 3x plus 6 is equal to 2 minus x. So now you start to think about how you're going to move terms across. Well, I will move the minus x from the right-hand side to the left-hand side so I can pair it up with the 3x. The plus 6 I'll move to the right-hand side so I can pair it with this positive 2. But remember, when we do that, the signs will change. We take the inverse operations. The minus x becomes a plus x, and the plus 6 becomes a minus 6. And we move it to the other side. So what we can do here is we can simplify each side, so the 3x plus x becomes a 4x, and 2 minus 6 becomes a minus 4. So the last thing to do is to get that x completely on its own. We have a 4 in front of it, but what that means is we're doing 4 times x. So if we're, doing four, well, if we're multiplying by 4 on one side, we divide by 4 on the other. Minus 4 divided by 4 gives us minus 1. And that is the answer to this equation. And don't forget to plug it in to the original equation just to double check that it's correct. Okay, next example. Y over 3 is equal to Y plus 2. Okay, this over 3 here actually means divide by 3. So if we're dividing by 3 on the left-hand side, we should really multiply by 3 on the other. Because what happens there is we get rid of that denominator and again, we just have a string of terms. But what I've done is I've put the right hand side in brackets because when we are multiplying by 3 we are we're actually multiplying by 3 by the whole right hand side and not just you know not just the y see some students would just multiply the y only but we're actually multiplying 3 by the whole right hand side y plus 2 so it's always best to use brackets then we just proceed from there multiplying out the brackets on the right hand side gives us 3y plus 6 and then we move terms across. Well, the only term you can move across is 3y. We can bring it to the left-hand side so we can pair it with the y. The 6, you leave where it is. Simplifying both sides, y minus 3y gives us minus 2y. The 6 is obviously unchanged. Then we have y is equal to 6 divided by minus 2. Because remember, if we look at step 5, we have minus 2 times y. So we obviously have to divide by minus 2. Dividing is the inverse operation multiplication. So we divide by minus 2 on the right-hand side, and that gives us y is equal to minus 3. And then we simply plug it in to our original equation to show, or just to see that it's indeed correct. So that's how you solve equations in under 5 minutes.